Oh, is it going? Yikes. Now it is, dude. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Happy Friday, one and all, dude. Oh, that's right. You like that? You like that we have like a little schedule now, dude? I do. I do. It's so much easier, dude. And and you know what? Greeting the weekend with your two best friends. This that's is how true. we got to treat every podcast. Yeah, and they'll never know if it is actually Friday for us or yeah. not. Every, every Monday, they make the conscious choice of, do I kill myself or <laughs> do I hold out another week to ap- hear an episode of Super Sally Joe's? So if we take a week <laughs> off, somebody could theoretically lose their life. Oh, it could be like we could be like, um, what's her name? The chick from The Sopranos, the, the psychiatrist. Exactly, like Doctor Melfi. Melfi, when she comes back and is like, one of my patients killed her. That's us. Yeah. We're like her. More like Doctor Melfi. Mm, that's Maybe true. I wish I could have been the employee of the month, if you know what I mean. Do you ever like do therapy and then like you get bummed that you're not sexually attracted to your therapist? <laughs> No, I, I've only had one therapist, and I was attracted to her. Really? Why? Because yeah. she was symmetrically attractive. She was just, like, traditionally beautiful? Yeah, she was older, too. What, what race was she? White. Ooh, delicious. Of course, does it, dude. Not, does it get... Honestly, dude, when it comes to races, does it get any better than white? <laughs> well, just, like, a beautiful white woman. <laughs> they're, they're also the only ones who tolerate therapy, so yeah. if, if it was anyone else, I'm like, you're just in this for the money. I know a white chick, like really believes that shit yeah have you ever met a black therapist no <laughs> i have i don't in the, <laughs> just in, haven't in, like, the, in the in the watch, i'm sure they're out there in the Watchmen comics warshak's uh therapist is therapist black. was black Ooh, the joker too also black comic book movies yeah and comic books they're all therapists yeah, are black, that, that's like that's like dc's subtle way of showing that therapy doesn't work <laughs> and it's like could you imagine if like black if black people believed in therapy it would actually be worse as a society <laughs> because it's like i must destroy gotham yeah. joker he i we let him out yeah. <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> black people dude so so wild he had a cool suit because they Joker, see the yeah. Joker's suit and they they're like, he can't they, be that crazy. That's it, my. Isn't it cool that <laughs> black people have like such goofy fashion sense, but they can pull it off, right? They, they could, like yes. black people, like they had like midriffs and shit in the eighties. Yeah, you know, black people ridiculous garb, but dude. They make, I, they make it look so cool. I know, dude. I saw a white dude today because it's really hot out here yeah. in Brooklyn. Very progressive, and I saw a white dude midriff. Yikes! Shook my head. I didn't even mean to. I was like, I support this. Are you sure? Are you sure it was a man though? That's you got to be careful, dude. I mean, well, the fact that the fact that the fact that you were one hundred percent certain that you knew their pronouns shows (laughs) that they have they them pronouns. Yep, exactly. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. I didn't officially know Joe, but I bet if I got to know them for real and I talked to their parents. It's a, it was a guy. It, and oh. like you would like to talk to their parents for the first time as well? Maybe if I found if I could find Actually, them. I think if you're trans, your parents are like, all right. In New York City or there yeah, New York City they could be running if away. You're in a major metropolitan yeah. area and you're trans. I just meant like now the comments are going to blow up with yeah. like I'm trans and my parents fucking disowned me. Yeah, and it's like all right. I'm sorry if that happened. I'm just saying if this If you're really sorry, would you have sex with them and make their pain <laughs> go away? Are um, you really sorry? No, I'm not really sorry. I guess. <laughs> I guess I. I guess I'm not that sorry. I. Uh, Good for you for having. Principles. I'll hang. I'll, I'll hang though. You know, if you'll yeah, hang. Is that what they? Is that what they? Is that what they call it now? Hang. I'll hang out with anyone if we like the same stuff. Isn't that cool enough? Like uh, what? Like mutilating your genitalia? Oh, or like therapy? politically? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, like uh, yeah, I mean, like Caitlyn Jenner has like the same beliefs as you. <laughs> right. No. No. Y- yes, I, I want to yes and you, but you keep throwing right. me under the bus. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> Kaylin Jenner's cool. She does seem cool. She's fucking but, cool as shit. Um, she killed somebody yeah, and then she was and like, got away with it. I that do, was I Bruce. That. And she still fucks hot chicks, right? Who doesn't? And she has a penis, right? Yeah, dude. They well, didn't see, go all the I, way. see what I just did? I've already yeah. evolved. I called. I said she has a penis. She has a penis, and you didn't. You didn't go. Ew, Alex Thomaselli, dude. Look at that. How far you've come. like? How, how much you've grown, dude? I know. How you've just grown. in like? I don't even know. Three minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna say right out of the gate, dude. Yeah. So much growth, dude. Yeah, I I wouldn't cut mine off if I was gonna your penis. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Would you still get the hormone therapy? I don't want to do any of that. So probably. 
But yeah, if I was gonna do it, I'd have. To, yeah, you'd have to do something, right? Yeah. Well, out here it seems I've seen. I've said this before. I've yeah. seen me on the subway in a dress. Yeah. Me, well, like me. You can do that now if you really want to just wear a dress. You can just wear a dress. Yeah. It's me. It's like this yeah. though. I mean, like exactly me. Uh huh. Just wearing a dress. Yeah. Same thing. Nothing yeah. different. Yeah. And. And I just I go interesting. Yeah. I think you got to do something, right? Do you want to wear a dress? No. Why not? I, I, you know, I do. People get mad enough at me for wearing shorts. Yeah, and I do that for um, main for comfortability yeah. and for uh, air. A dress has got to be nice. So a dress has got to be nicer for yeah. air. But you know what it is? It's not. I feel like it's not as um. Uh, it doesn't keep everything intact. You still have to keep things close together. You I can't mean, just you have could, everything out. I mean, like now that you have a little spanks you can wear underneath your dress. This is true. I could do that. So why don't you do that? Mm. Uh, chafe. I'll chafe. Dude. No, you won't, dude. I will. I dude, do. You just got to like ask a woman, like, hey, how do I wear a dress? And Ooh. like they'll tell you. I, you me? Mm. Just, <laughs> yeah, just you, dude. I start. Hey, way, what's up? I'm Thomas I, T. I T transfer <laughs> Transicelli. Dude, you know what's been happening lately? What? Is I could. I could start it with these women. Women have been coming up to me in the street and asking me for directions or yeah. about things. Are you giving them directions back to your place? No, <laughs> it's not like that, but I should next time. Yeah, you should be like, just be very careful. There's a very good chance you might get sexually assaulted. All right, well, I, I, I'm not going to throw in that part. Why? But, uh, no, that makes it like that way you can do whatever, and it's like, oh, if officer, they do show up, officer I warned them, yeah. If they do show up, yeah. I'm like, did anything happen to you? They're like, no, and I'm like... <laughs> Just tilt my head. <laughs> it's time. No, you sicko. Um, uh, different foreign women have come up to me. Mamma like, mia. Excuse me, uh, where is the... One was like, all right, where do you find the subway? And I was like, she, she wasn't that bad. But yeah. like, Oh, where do you find the subway? I'm looking like, for the tunnel. Me, do you know where the subway would be? And yeah. I, I literally was like... Looked at her phone because yeah. it was all it was doing the thing it does on my phone. And I was like, it just like fucking goes around in a circle. And yeah, shit. it was like yeah. either this way or that way. So I go, Miss, it's either that way or this way. But just look for the lamps because if you have never been to New York City, uh, the subway <laughs> lamps are a good indicator of where the subway. You either is. go one way or the other way. But, but you'll see the it when you lamps. see it. And I told her they're green and white and they're orange. Which one was it? What's what? And she just was? said, oh, "I never knew that. Thank you." And I said, "Neither did I until I moved here." And then that was that. That's like a New Yorker secret, though. You're not supposed to tell people that. Oh, I do it to everyone, and now they know. Now this Brit knows. They're gonna know gonna I met a lovely six-something foot man who told me. They're gonna me go the back way. to London and be like, "We're ready for the invasion now." <laughs> We know yeah, how they get on. We know where they get on the trains. She we describes do. me purpose perfectly on the new British media, and it's like we have to thank this man. Look for him. He may be wearing a dress now. Yeah. It is still New York City. Anyway, but yeah, not dude. not that dude. You want to know what else happened? What happened when I was um, what uh, dude? Because this is the same day. Um, is me and Riyadh. We were hanging Riyad out. Riyadh Carroll, a black man. A black man. Make sure you know. So already it's like a dangerous situation. Yeah, it's exactly like exactly tensions are heightened. It's yeah. also like ninety degrees. Yeah. So you know, so, so it's like the end of do the right thing. Right. Where do like you get, exactly. it's like damn, isn't that cool? Like that was awesome in like the late eighties, early nineties, where you could just like blame the unyielding racism and hate crimes on just like oh, it's so fucking hot. Yeah. I gotta be racist. Yep. I gotta say the n word, dude. It's too hot. Exactly. It's too hot not to say the n word. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, so that's dude, funny you, dude, you get it, Joe. So you know where this is going. So and it actually goes in a way that it's very, just one sided of do the right thing and not the side you, you're gonna think it uh -oh. is that should be. Anyway, so me and Riyadh are unchaining our bikes. We just did some comedy. <laughs> oh, you're unchaining someone's bike. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, ex well, yes, exactly. He was <laughs> like, I know how to. Let me handle it. I'm He's on like, the lookout. Hey, man, you want to make a little distraction? Yeah, I'm on the lookout. I'm whistling. Yeah. I'm throwing the firecrackers like, you know, Mr. French and the Departed. Anyway, deeper cut. Um, dude, there's this guy in the wheelchair on the corner, uh -oh. both legs in casts. Nice. He's sitting there just staring at traffic. Dude, I hear someone just say, yeah, screaming the N-word. Nah. I mean aggressively. <laughs> you can ask Riyadh next time if we have him on the pod. If this is Screaming it, it gets louder and louder. Dude, a, n a man who kind of looks like the guy in the wheelchair but balding more standing. Just runs up to the guy in the wheelchair, screaming this. Just punches him in the back of the head a bunch of times. 
grabs they, the wheelchair, flips it. The, wait, the guy in the wheelchair was screaming the N-word? No. Or the guy ran up to him? Ran up to him. Was screaming the N-word? Ran up to him was screaming the N-word. What would you do? I, this all happens in like five seconds. Oh, please. You, you saw it happen, <laughs> and you were like, get him. Get well, I'll that tell you what I did. Was it's it a black great. guy? Was the black guy in the wheelchair? No, it was no black guy. It was two white guys. That's what I mean. Wow. It's two white guys, one yelling the N-word at the other white guy. All right, so it's a non-hate crime. <laughs> it's canceling it out. Yeah, yeah. it's evened out, dude. Yeah, so he punches this guy a bunch. Nice. And the guy, like, feeble positions. He then flips the chair, but the guy is cast, dude. This dude's legs, like, scraped and sort of, like, bent in a way where I was, like, uh, I, like, looked away. Anyway, he knocks him out of the chair. He runs off. A bunch of people surround him yeah. and are like, oh, my God, the cops show up. It was a whole thing. The guy had no pants on, apparently. We nice. didn't notice that in the Wait, chair. the guy in the wheelchair didn't have had pants, had pants on? pants on, so that was So, uh, so in a way, everyone was the fucking... It was all over the place, dude. He was. Were you happy that it happened? So what's crazy and it's not good is when it did happen, when I turned away, I had to, like, stifle my... You thought it was fucking funny it, to see... A... It wasn't funny. It was funny it's to see... how I react to... A human being that was already situation. so miserable... No, on the circle of things, just to like finally fall even further, and you're like, good. No, it was. I thought it was a prank, and it was super jarring, but it was brutal. It was horrible to watch. Did you, you laugh too? I did, but not because it was funny. A little funny. <laughs> it was a little, funny. a little funny, but it wasn't because it was funny. It was. I laugh at things that are bad all the time. Like, have you ever seen? I react. You ever seen monkeys um, when they see other monkeys fight? Don't they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're like, hey man, look at that no, shit, no, man. No, no. <laughs> hey Jamal, look at this no, shit, man. No, I meant the animals, the 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 the, cre- the, the marsupial things <laughs> that are distant relatives of us. Yeah. Um, have you ever seen them? They like hop around and oh, they yeah. like jump and they laugh. Yeah, they scream get world excited. Star. They get excited. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happens to me when I see crazy things happen from a distance. I get like excited, but I'm not like happy about it. It's just like a primal thing. I can't control it. You can't help it. Dude. I go like, ha, and then I'm like, fuck, that's it, horrible. It just happens. Yeah, I can't control it. Uh, Someone noted I was out with a girl one time, and uh, a fight was about to happen. Nice. And I like moved her out of the way, but I was like <laughs> the whole time, and she was like, you got like really like excited and weird about. The fight, I was like, but I protected you. She's like, yeah, but you also were like excited. I was like, women are dumb, it. dude. Yeah, they'll find any excuse not to get a wet pussy. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So like, yeah. you're like, no, I have to have sex with you because I protected you. And that was in Manhattan, by the way. That wasn't in. Brooklyn. Oh, that's like rapist yeah. capital of the world, dude. Mm, yeah, I, I guess, dude. Yeah, more rapes happen in fucking uh, Manhattan than the second uh, m- uh, highest place. You know where that is? Dubai. Dubai? You're just... All right, you're being... No, I'm being serious. <laughs> Why? Because it's rich? No. Where the most billionaires are? You uh, think? The most brown people. Well, I don't think that's the... Per yeah. capita. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where's did you know st- that? Did, no, I didn't know it, and I'd like to see where you got these stats from. We got to start doing, like, commercial <laughs> breaks where it's like, <laughs> we'll be right back. But before <laughs> we go, here's a quick trivia question. Which, ca- <laughs> which area has the most rapes per capita? Is it A, Manhattan... B, Please. Dubai, C, Cincinnati. Oh, because shout out Ron Irving. Ron, Ron Irving, an, a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> He's not. I want to clear that up. We got, we got fucking podcast beef going with bo- the bottom the text bottom podcast. <laughs> we hate them. That would be hilarious. We hate them and everything they yeah, stand for. If you guys see Dane Rothenberg or Ron Irving, if you go to the bottom text YouTube page right under that, you guys are pieces of shit and joe gorman and alex Tomaselli said so yeah and you know what type in their ip address in the comment too that'll really that'll really get them going report them as being racist and homophobic and also upvote this video we really yeah, need we really need the people nice. to upvote we really need people to watch and subscribe shout out to everyone who subscribed recently yeah. too that was nice of them yeah that's nice. Dude, we're blowing up dude we have over 30 subscribers now i know it's happening guys if we get to a thousand subscribers we'll be able to live stream we'll be able to monetize our channel patreon are you nervous we'll have a patreon an erotic patreon no. sally will jerk off onto a camera i'll stream my little video games yeah, it'll be called Selly's Drip, because I'll do yeah. it. He means it, like, onto the camera. Yeah. 
It's like it's gonna be like like those. Uh, remember like those '90s music videos where like they people would be like dancing yeah. on top of like a glass. yeah Buster Rhymes. Yeah, like, only only instead you're gonna be like penis. fucking jerking off. Yeah, dude, just that yeah, exactly. And you know what? We'll play some Buster Rhymes in the background yeah. too. Why not? Yeah, dude, we'll be able to do it behind a paywall. Hell yeah, dude. Those music videos used to roll. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I miss it when the music video would tell a story, dude. Remember that? I don't even watch music videos anymore. Music videos don't exist anymore, dude. The last one I think I remember seeing. You ever see? You hear the song "Breeze Blocks" by Alt J? No. It's a a song. The well, the music video reveals in reverse that a dude comes home to his apartment to this woman trying to stab him and cut him, and then he kills her, and then it's oh no. He comes home to his apartment to reveal that there's a woman in the closet that he's been holding there. And then the a woman who's come to save her goes to save her, and he kills her. So the guy wins. Whoa, that's you know like saying? the Dead Island uh, trailer that was also shot backwards. It's like the movie Promising Young Woman. Have you ever seen that? No, but that makes me sound... I'm already getting horny hearing oh, it's, about it. It's, it's pretty... Crazy those are the movie, those yeah. are the best kind of women to sexually assault the promising young Jesus movie. Christ. Well, you'd like that movie, Joe, because that's oh, really why. Of what, yeah, yeah no, duh, of course that's what it's about. That's what all movies are about <laughs> now. It's like, oh, women fucking overcome all this adversity and man bad. If oh, women are real. so great, it how is. come how come we don't have hey, Sally, if women is so great, how come we don't have a woman president now? <laughs> oh. Hey, if women We'd is, have a fucking war every month. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, if uh if women is so great, how come uh, there ain't no women presidents? <laughs> if they're so great, how come it took them so long to uh, get the right to vote? Did you see? Um, oh, there's a. It's a really bad. I, I turned it off. It's um, last night in Soho. No, I didn't see that, but I know it's about that girl with the eyes that are too far apart. Oh yeah, I, I'd still and she's come like, on she's him, like, dude. oh, I'm a beautiful woman, and it's like, she is. All right, who I'd are do you? it. Who are you, you goofy little non-aesthetic bitch? You wouldn't want her those goofy eyes looking nope. up at you. I have my little Gumar. I'm a happily married man, Sully. Right. Right. Yeah, I know. But the only <laughs> the only thing would be if it's a possible timeline where Kelly's dead. <gasps> okay, but it would never. Ha- but you know what? In that timeline, I would be dead shortly thereafter. Of How a broken powerful heart. is that, dude? How powerful is that, dude? You'd you'd go to the graveyard every day, and the, yeah. the wind blows, and you're like, "I'm leaves you. He leaves a single rose and a single nug of weed on her grave, <laughs> but then he comes right back. <laughs> and and he comes right back for the nug. <laughs> smoke, like within five minutes. Goes it's like, yeah, it's just a thought that counts. Yeah, you know, you're not. It's it doesn't. I'll bring real flowers. It's I'll a, bring two it's roses a symbol. tomorrow. It's a and symbol. Then you show up, you're like, "Hey, I actually had to buy weed, and I'll leave the weed today, and then I mean, you just keep smoking it." <laughs> That's the scene, yeah. though. You literally leave. It's like bad sentimental. You just come back and you're like, I, I don't. Know. Do you ever see? Uh, wait. So last night in Soho, yes, she like goes back in time or whatever. Dumb. And the like revelation for her. I know there's another twist where I, I didn't even get to it because I turned it off because this was her revelation. She went back to the '60s and was like. It's the most magical time. It's beautiful. And then she realized men in the '60s were still pieces of shit. <laughs> that's so fun it's like, like yeah isn't that funny it's like yeah hey guess what like your racist fucking sexist grandfather yeah he kind of had those same opinions like i love that they i love that there was like this like idea yeah. that like oh well conservatism just like comes with age and it's well, like no people have always been like like now it's like now it's like you're looked at as conservative. You're like, yeah, gay people can get married, but what's up with these trans people? Yeah. Or, and like yeah, in the yeah. 90s, like, that's like wildly fucking progressive where it's like, yeah, gay people can get married. But what's up with like men dressing up, wearing a wig, pretending to be a woman? It's like, well, that's pretty radical. What you think about gay people. But what the fuck is that? A man dressing up? You know? Yeah, that was exactly that was just, fucking vile. Yeah. Now. Nah, yeah, man. I uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on, but um, it's funny, too. Like, it's also like, yeah. In the 60s, it's like they just got over civil rights. You think everyone, you think women were being treated better? You I don't think women like being treated like this. <laughs> I think they'd rather be on the pedestal than they were in the 50s. You think so? Getting taken out for malts? Yeah. Taken up to the to the peak? How cool would it be if I was like Don, Don Draper? Exactly. 
Well, I'm thinking more. See, you're going, you're going that far. Yeah, we're that old too. That's true. We what what are you thinking? Are you thinking like Ricky from I Love Lucy? Yeah, no, I'm thinking like Archie, <laughs> like, an, like Archie Bunker. <laughs> no, Archie in the the oh, Archie in the comics. Yeah, where yeah. he's like, I got to get a girl. Let him go to the movies. He's like, do I want to fucking have yeah. sex with a nice one or the slutty one? Yeah. Dude, Archie should have always picked the slutty one, right? He, he, well, the hindsight. slutty one was also rich, too. Yeah, so, yeah! What but she you? was, like, kind of a bitch. Veronica was kind of a bitch. Betty nice. was a nice little cutie pie. And like, you, and, like, you know Betty was saving her asshole for the man that married her. <laughs> so that's the other thing. Well, whereas, like, Veronica, Veronica would, like, fucking take your cock in her ass. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, it would mean nothing to her. It would yeah. truly mean nothing yeah. to her. Nothing. But, like, when you, when you fuck Betty in the ass, it means you something. you wait. And then you might have wasted that time where who, you could have banged who out. Who is that bitch that Veronica. Jughead wa- that wanted to fuck Jughead and Jughead was and like, I just, he's gay. Though. I just want to eat food. Yeah. Yeah. I think Jughead was like non non sexual. Asexual. Yeah. He was asexual. I don't know. I didn't keep up with it that much. I you never liked. Watched, you never liked the Archie comics. I only watched a few episodes of Riverdale too. You only watched a few episodes. They had nice little bodies on that show, huh? <laughs> fuck, dude. If there's like one thing our society knocked out of the park. It's like learning how to like the only way to fetishize high school students is to have young looking 20 somethings pretend to be in high school. And then you can like jerk off to them like in euphoria, like Sid Sweeney. It's like it's like, hey, you want to fucking jerk off to this fucking high school student? Like, oh, no, get out of here. I'd never do that. It's like, all right. How about like this fucking big titty 20 something? It's like, oh, I'll jerk off to that in a heartbeat. It's like, well, guess what? That big titty 20 something thinks of themselves as a high school student. <laughs> it's cool, I guess. Oh, it's cool. You jerked off to you fucking committed a, a fucking I sex I did not crime. personally. You did. You jerked off to Sid Sweeney. You're just saying this. You jerked off, and everyone jerked off to Sid Sweeney. <laughs> it's impossible not to. Is that crazy? Like this, this fucking bitch walks around, and like anyone who knows her is like, oh, I jerked off to you. Like every guy that she meets, like every guy that she meets for the rest of her life is gonna be like, oh, that's crazy. I jerked off to you. Well, every guy has to also pretend like she doesn't have like. Oh, I'm not trying to get a peek of those tits. Come on, give me a little look. I'm a nice guy. I pay my taxes. Dude, I never fucking committed a hit and run. They also look like symmetrical and all that. Isn't that cool? You got it. Yeah. (sighs) She's only like fucking 22. Dude, so yeah. um, That's pretty cool. there's 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 a time then. There's a way maybe we see her. We do perform at the cellar. Your boy. You? Yep. Sees her after. We hang out. Would you have we sex go get with some her? Joe's pizza, you know what I'm saying? And, and you're like, we had such a nice night. Come on. And she's like, Sully, come on. And yeah, like, she you brings like, me back to her from yeah. the high rise. And I, yeah. Come what would you do? The you wouldn't tits. wear a condom, would you? No way, dude. I don't even bring it up. Dude. Yeah, he's, if she brought like, it up, I'd be like, Sally. oh, yeah, of course. I'll go get it. Yeah. You have one? No. You're like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Be like, I have one of those s- bear skin condoms. Yeah, it's like, oh, don't worry. I got snip, snip. Yeah, and then I just... And then you were like, here comes the baby. Sneaker. Make way terrible. for baby. You see that um, fucking uh, yeah, Harley. Yeah, you tried to do to Drake. Harley Quinn got pregnant. Margot, Margot Robbie. Robbie. Yeah, she's pregnant. Dude, yeah. That's disgusting. That's cool, dude. Hey, I saved a little of that breast milk for me, though. She's going to get all fat now, though. I mean, she already got like a lot of work done. That's, That's the true. thing is like women don't really come back from pregnancy. Yeah, dude. It's, it's sad. never the same. It's sad. It's, it's like funny a for a man. I'm fa- a man can like, like just like get women pregnant. And it's it's like whatever. La di da. Just go, <laughs> just go about I'm your the shit, type dude. Of guy. <laughs> just, just, uh, that's I'm cool. That's fucking awesome. That's the coolest thing a guy can do, dude. Uh, talking about that's also talking about the fifties. You could literally do that and just go around. Yeah. You just go from town to town and be like, whoopsie. Looks Time like I'm out of here, Damie. I got places to be, people to see. Bye, and bitch. Just, yep. Yeah. And then you eventually find the one, and then you settle down with her, and then over the years you have random kids track you down and go, I hate you, and you go, your wife was a slut, see? I was just out there being a salesman. Yeah, it's all, all because it's 23 and me fucking bullshit yeah. ruining it for all of us. Be like, shut up, kid. It used to be like you could just like go around and like get away with it. Yeah. No, you can't get away with it. Like, if, let me get away yeah, with it. Dude, if God wanted men to be there all the time, he would have, like, you know, made it so we wouldn't be like that. Yeah. But that's how it is. And that I, I subscribe to how we've been created. Like, really? I, you know, I'm, I, I'm a, you know me, super religious, super in tune you don't, with I, my, you, You've told me multiple times. Savior. 
You don't believe in Jesus. That is true. I have. Actually. I remember. Remember when like that girl was like fucking drunk in the green room, okay. and you were like, uh, "Don't worry, you can come back to my place." And she was like, "Wow, thanks, Sally." And then, like, as you were leaving, you looked at that this. That sounds pic- like consent. Yeah. But this didn't happen. You looked at, like, a picture of Jesus Christ, a, fo- a photo of Jesus Christ in the green room, and you were like, you died for nothing. And you spit on the photo. I'm Damien yeah. from the, the Yeoman and, and then I'm like, forgive him, Lord. He knows not what he says. You know that. Look, dude, Finn's know. crying because he. I keep like, one that, that satanic image I painted was too much and upset him. It's not true. <laughs> He's in protest. He's like, you wouldn't do that. He knows I'm r- I'm righteous to the ladies. <laughs> I want to keep again. Want to keep saying yes and, yeah. but every time it would condemn but me. But the purity of your it's heart so bad, <laughs> it's setting me up for crimes, and they're not even like funny crimes. They're like the worst <laughs> crimes. You're in big trouble, dude. Yeah, he's freaking out. Yeah, Finn's upset, dude. He because of who to believe your naughty little your naughtiness. Who feeds him or who's a good man? Yeah, yeah, dude. Um. What's wrong, Sally? There's another thing. Um, oh, dude, a girl at my job said, this doesn't help, I guess, me saying, a girl at my job, we uh-huh. were throwing axes. I work at, yeah. whatever, you can come find me, people. But a girl at my job was like. Um, I love you. No, she was throwing shit. She was doing really well, and her friend went to the bathroom. And while her friend was in the bathroom, she was getting better. And then she turned to me and was like. I'm going to rape her when she comes back in this game. And I was like, that's the wildest thing I've heard. And she was hot, too. It was like a hot chick. Where I was like, nice. I even said to her, I was like, I can't believe someone like you just said that. And she was like, I'm crazy. And then, anyway, that that happened. So that's nice. fun. This what was, what's her weird. full name? I actually do know it. I won't say it. Why? Because it's, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> well, don't worry, Sally. This, no. is a safe, this is a safe pod. She's a cool lady, but um, it was wild. Well, for a rapist. It, it was a woman saying she'd do it to her friend. Yeah, a woman, can, a woman can rape a woman. Again, I don't know why these people are so comfortable opening up to me and saying crazy things. They're, they're like, oh, he's a comic. Or coming up to me and being like, can you tell me where to go? And I'm like, that way. I ha- to a safe place. I think it's because I have a kind face. People like think it's like, this guy knows where he's going. Baby. Also, I walk with such purpose. I do. Yeah. I walk tall. That's how they do it. And I, I always give I people like this too. Yeah. Probably that that might be it. I love giving directions, even if I don't know. It's like you want to go three blocks that way, um, and then take a left. And you just don't. And that's yeah. what you say, no matter what it is. Yeah, and then just keep going straight, and you'll see a train station. And there's a. Pr- they go sometimes, and there's just a project. Yeah. And they get mugged. Yeah, They're like, hey Mac, what you doing here? Yeah. You shouldn't come around this way. You look. You look down the wrong alley, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> What's the I'm waiting for my man. They're like, hey, white boy, what you doing downtown? Oh, that's a beautiful song. Did you write that? No, it's uh, Velvet Underground. Damn. The guy who does the, ha- yeah. he does a lot of heroin songs. Yeah, Lou Reed. Lou Reed, yeah, dude. Uh, Train Spotting. <laughs> that song reminds me of heroin. Oh, Perfect Day. Nice, dude. Ooh. Man, that. The Perfect Day is like one that has heroin. Yeah. My perfect day starts with a dub on Fortnite. <laughs> it's sad, you know. No, not true. You know, I, sex first is is I think a little better. Nope, sex is the worst, dude. You have sex first, then Fortnite. you kick the bitch out and say I got to play Fortnite with the boys. I'll tell you what, you got like here. You wake up, you load up Fortnite. You, <laughs> you kept be- because you kept your fucking console on standby mode. It already updated throughout the night, so oh, it doesn't. There you go. You load in and it's a whole new season, and it's like exciting. You see the trailer; it has all the exciting shit, new vehicles, Never new combat. Oh, look at this skins! A new collaboration. I'm in. I, as those, you know, those first couple matches for a new season, that's the best. I guess, dude. As you know, though, um, Fortnite and women do not mix, so. That one chick. I had a girl over. Yeah. Alexis I, Ramirez, right? Oh, you didn't have to say her full name. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. What? Um, so I had this girl over. It doesn't uh, matter yeah, it could what be, her it, real it, name it could is. Be, it could be anyone. <laughs> you piece of it shit. doesn't matter who it You're is, such dude. A bastard. No one's going to know. Dude. No so one's going to find out. Certainly no one's going to clip that. 
and send it to her. <laughs> but also, like, she was, like, on mic. You were, like, playing Fortnite, and you could hear her in the background. Yeah, but no one had nobody listening knew Saying, that. like, let me go. Get out of right, here. That's, none of that happened. <laughs> none of that happened. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> they don't like when you play Fortnite in front of them. Some of them do. Kelly loves it when I play Fortnite. Because, like, I'll buy, like, a skin, and I'll be like, hey, look at the skin I got. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way she likes when you spend money on She's Ford. like, I'm like, look at this. And she's like, oh, that's neat. Like, she doesn't care. But, like, she at least, like, she, she knows. She understands, like, the importance of, like, humoring me and my dumb little things. You know, that that's what being in a relationship is, is, like, all right, now for me to pretend to like something you like. Like, she pretends to like stuff I like. I pretend to like stuff she likes. My ex girlfriend and I would play um, video games, Nicole. And, uh, you love her. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah. Um, and she. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, John. <laughs> <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> she, though, would notice when I. Like, we'd play um, competitive. Like. Yeah. Games when we work together, and if I, anything ever went wrong, I mean, you know me, I go fuck, fuck, and dude, she would just be like, I can't do this, and I'd be like, what? And I'd be like, she gets scared, dude. Like, I'm just, I, can't, I think you're like mad at me, and I'd be like, no, 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 it's just the game, it has nothing to do with you, and then we go back and do it, and I'd like completely forget about it, and we'd be playing, yeah. and I'd be like, jump, <laughs> jump, help me, fuck, and then I'd die. I'm gonna like, kill you, bitch. Really I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I can't do this. It has nothing to do with the game. It's all about you. I'm gonna kill <laughs> you. I'm gonna fucking kill you, dude. I wish this gun was real and I could use it in real life on you. I know where you live, bitch. I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I'm going to cheat on you, I swear to God. That's just how I let off steam, babe. <sighs> yeah, dude, I hate playing fucking, like, I don't mind. Like, we have, like, you know, if we we're going to play a game together, we'll play, like, the Super Mario games or shit like that. Oh, this was, like, uh, we, it was either Gears of War or um, the one when you, like, you're a chef and you're chopping stuff and putting oh. it out to the... Yeah, that one. That one got me. Hell's pissed. Kitchen. Yeah, I don't know what that one yeah, is. But like, yeah, I don't know what it is either. That but sucks. It was. Yeah, you got to get where a cool. It all went down. You got to get a cool it. chick that's a gamer on her own. Well, she was cool. She did game on her own. But like, what like, other games does she play? Uh, like fucking um Zelda <laughs> and uh, the other fucking. What's the one? Uh, anti. No. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't remember, dude. I don't remember much <laughs> about my exes. Now that I think about That's it. good, dude. You forced those memories you out. Forget dude. about them, dude. You Eternal Sunshine. I don't know when you le- lived. You know, I've never seen that movie. Eternal Sunshine? No. Oh, it's very powerful, dude. You relate to so much of it. Uh, you think it's so? It's a dramatic Jim Carrey movie. Uh, is he like... the twenty? It's not the 23 one? That sucked. 23 was yeah. retarded. Uh, no, Eternal Sunshine the Spotless Mind was like... He was dating Kate Winslet... And then, like, they broke up, and he got a note that's like, Kate Winslet has removed all memories of you, so please don't contact her anymore. And he's like, what the fuck? Mm. So then he tries to remove memories of her, uh, and then he realizes, like, oh, I shouldn't get these memories removed because good and bad memories form who we are. Oh, wow. It's powerful, huh? Damn, I'll relate to that. You're yeah. right. Yeah. I well, it's too right. late now, dude. You can't. You're you're an adult at thirty. Your brain is fully formed at this point. That is true. You have no no new way to take on characterization. It's impossible. The person you are now is the person you'll be until you die. <clears throat> Isn't that crazy? I think that's why people got mad at Leo DeCap for having sex with twenty four year olds because <laughs> their brain wasn't fully formed. Oh, you think that's the reason? What if you like? What it's if jealousy he? In my what opinion. if he exclusively had sex with thirty two year olds? Like that, you think like people would still get asthmatic because like thirty two is like that's like beyond like an adult like that's like such like it's almost like fetishized. Yeah, I think people um, honestly just forget what they were like in their twenties yeah. and act like oh, when you're twenties, you're yeah, you're retarded. But it's also like you do realize you were able to do whatever you wanted, and you yeah. did, and your body could take it. Yeah, also like. Have anyone talked to these women who dated Leo? Yeah, they say, like, he's a good guy. Have any of them been like, oh, I didn't realize now that I'm 25 he broke up with... No, I think they they know what they're doing. He made me a slave. I think they have conversations with him, and he goes like, I only care about Tigers and Martin Scorsese. <laughs> that's, that's all he does, dude. And pussy, apparently. Nice, dude. And just, pu- but just pussy. Who he's doesn't like, love the... the, the th- 
three Ps. Yeah, he's like, I love you, but I love. I like you, but I love. And he just he just gives him a little tap on the puss. <laughs> Pussy. Yeah. Pussy predators, and pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's Hollywood. Nice, dude. <laughs> that's Hollywood all in one fucking little. One little go. Yeah. Yeah, man. What? Why are people surprised when? People at the top of their game want to fuck hot chicks. Like the Tiger Woods thing. It's the same thing. It's like, right. oh, he cheated on his w- Maroon 5 is the biggest one where I was like, everyone could go fuck their mother. He wasn't Who- even married. Yeah, it's his girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, he cheated. Even if it was, sorry, even if it was, I don't mean to be super shallow, but I am. But it's like, you have a right to, You have a right to do it if you're talented. You're talented, celebrity, super attractive. Like, he's a handsome man. It's like, what yeah. do you think... You think he's just going places and he's, like, not getting pussy thrown at him? How could you not be horny? Yeah. You're a man. Also, dude, it's like, isn't that what you're, like, as a kid, isn't it, like, not as a kid, but, like, as a young man, isn't it, like, that is the dream? You know what I mean? To cheat on your wife. No, to be, like, desirable and to be, like, anywhere you go, a chick is, like, uh, I could like come to your room and <laughs> for no reason. That, like, what if what if you did that? But like the chicks that said that they were all sixteen or seventeen. Okay, well that's different, Joe. That's Why? wrong. Why is it wrong though? Because this is just is. Uh, has her is her brain somehow different in like a year and a half? <laughs> come on, Sally. I don't really. I've never dated. Pretend a girl. this podcast equipment isn't here. Just give me your honest. I've answer. never dated a girl who's like, first of all, like that much older than like eighteen. Two, yeah, uh, well, since I, since I'm older now, I don't w- date women who are um, like 21 and under. Like I, I usually not? just go for. You never went on a date with like a 19 year old. No, no, I really ha- in I a, have. At least when I was before I uh, dated before I dated Kelly, I went on a date with a 19 year old. How old were you? Uh, at the time, I would have been 35. That, that's not the w- not bad. I took her on my knee and I said, "Hello, little girl." And what do you want for Christmas? It's not illegal, but it's, you know, who cares? It was cool, dude. I regaled yeah. her about Regaled. dial-up internet. She's like, what? What's that? You don't have to rewind. You know DVDs? Imagine yeah. having to rewind. And I was like, where's your mom? Like, was she doing anything? What's no. up with her? No. Is that cool? I could have sex with a 19-year-old's mom. <laughs> and it would probably be like, all right. I've had women date me who are older. Like, my ex-girlfriend, um, Nicole, was six years older than me. That's not a big deal. I had sex I with a 52-year-old once uh, when I was doo, 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 15. Really? Yeah, I was raped by a teacher. Well, that's okay. I call it sex, though, to cope. <laughs> it it's like, yeah, I got... I don't believe you. I got, I got laid. <laughs> I got laid at age eight. <laughs> Everyone's like, what do you mean? You're like, I had a this violent, violent one. encounter at fucking summer camp. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Yeah. That's cool, dude. It's cool to have sex with an old lady. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. What's the oldest woman you've ever had sex with? And then, by contrast, the youngest. Uh, 40. Girl was 40, and I was like 20-something, oh. maybe 30. Yeah, you told me about her. 28, 30, yeah. You really loved her. Uh, No, but she was cool. But Radical dude. Not actually, you know, not the some of honestly, super hot. But some of the like, w- pro- like one some of the worst sex I've ever had. Why? Because we were both pretty Drunk. fucked up, yeah. and um, she just was like, just fuck me. I don't want to do anything else, and I'm I'm a lover. So I was like, ah, this isn't. Fun. You're a lover, dude. This is just. Sex. You're a gamer, just, yeah. a lover, and a comedian, dude. Yeah, dude. You got to get that on a business card. Honestly, dude, I do. The women I have dated, especially recently, I do like surprise them. With that you're so carnal. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Because I'm a dork. So. Like you come, yeah. yeah, but then like you fucking, you go back to the bedroom, you take off the Spider-Man shirt, you put on like a satin <laughs> button-down shirt. I know. I press a button. My yeah. my bed, my leopard printed bed comes out of the yeah. wall. You press a button, Harry, like whites just play. Yeah, your fucking Spider-Man poster fucking flips around, and it's a like a bar comes out yeah. with Chardonnay <laughs> ready and shit. I'm like, oh, uh, what would you want? Do you want any? Yeah. And it's the like, bat signal well, goes well, away, well, a disco ball I've descends. Been feeling right, baby. 
You're a yeah. lover, dude. Just uh, who is that? Who plays that song? Marvin Gaye. Yeah, Marvin Gaye comes on, dude, and I, instantly I'm in a bathrobe. Yeah. You're right, a satin bathrobe. Very quagmire of you. Yeah, I actually, my, the goal is because women are dumb. Mm. You just do all this, and when you get back to your apartment, you go, "I'm really sorry about how messy it is in here." And then you open oh, it. You got a clean apartment. And it's just nice and clean. Yeah. I yeah. always say, like, I always like bring a girl back. I'm like, I'm sorry about how smelly the dog is, uh, and it's like Finny, and he's like, so not cute. smelly. Yeah. And then you're like, I'm also a big fan of Taylor Swift. Yeah. I hope that doesn't and I'm like, me. also, my girlfriend just died. <laughs> <laughs> In this scenario, just Kelly just died. <laughs> She's dead. That's the only way. But she, but she doesn't know you killed her. That's the other. I would part. never, dude. She would live forever. If anything, it would be like some attempt to make her live forever backfired, and ironically, <laughs> she died. <laughs> I just wanted you forever, my life. I just wanted you to live forever, dude. Then you're back at the grave trying to leave a nug, but yeah. you realize it's like why it's not, not gonna do her. She's not. Would, would you would you get immortality if it meant that like you could never get high again? No. Yeah, wouldn't it be worth it, right? That would suck ass, dude. It's like, yeah. damn, dude, that's like a fate worse than death. Dude, if I could if I got immortality, that would be mm. the first that would be the first thing. I'd be like yeah, I'll just smoke. I'll never not be high. Yeah, dude. I was it like, won't okay. Even matter anymore. Yeah, I guess like I'll take like a twenty-year tolerance break just to like get wicked high yeah. coming back. I would talk to Big T, and I'd say I need those edibles, dude. By the way, like it doesn't matter. We did we did a podcast. We hung out with Big T. We, we hung out with Big T. It was a very controversial event. And I ate four fifty milligram edibles. So That's so I, funny. I was two hundred milligrammed out, dude. I was fucking. Zonk to the rest of the night. Yeah, you were out, I dude. It. I had a great time. I'm actually wondering if you left those here and if you don't want them because I'll take them. Um, ah! I ended up eating so much. I had like mad pieces of toast and like corn muffins and shit, dude. I made no sense. I just made food at my apartment. It was great. Anyway, it's a good time. It was. Shout we out passed to me. out. I passed out on the couch. I'm sure you did. And then I woke up and I went to the bed. I went to bed. <laughs> and then like Kelly was like, how do you do this every night? And I was like, I'm a drug addict. She doesn't smoke weed. That's right. She doesn't smoke yeah. weed every night. Not not the Dude, volume. I Every time I... At, shout out. Uh, this, is a Nicole, this is a Nicole episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Nicole was always like... You do smoke too much, but she never nagged me about it. Like, when nice. I talk about it, she's like, yeah, you do. And I'd be like, that's okay. And she's... But... She also pointed out, she's like, I've noticed, she's like, I dated someone who did smoke ju- this, like, as probably as much as you did, but they were like, they didn't do shit. And I was like, oh, thanks. She's like, yeah, you like do things. Like, you don't, she's like, you, she's like, sometimes you crash. That's normal. It's nighttime. I'm yeah. like, yeah, that's, th- la-. she's like, but you don't smoke weed during the day and just sit there. He would just sit there. You're like, I'm going to smoke weed and then we're going to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, not, dude. I don't. I'm. It's up to, Sometimes you do hit a wall, but I am a productive stoner. But I do need to stop like smoking during the day. I'm. I'm starting to fucking. It's oh, destroying you, dude. I know, dude. I'm losing my mind. It's changing who you are fundamentally. I know, dude. People are like, you're not the same. You just. You're, just you are, you're not weed. the same when you smoke weed, Sully. Yeah, I do. Just got. It's. It'll be good though. You know. Yeah. You still talking to that fucking uh, seventeen-year-old? It's just not seventeen. It's none of your business. I'm not so telling yes. you anything anymore. I'm not telling you nothing. You're seeing her. You're picking her up after school. <laughs> not. I have a note. Uh, yeah, I'm here to pick up Rebecca. No, I'm actually her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you call the cops. <laughs> um, we have a filing with the the town hall. The parents know. It's Thanks. against the law to be Waste in law. everyone's time. I have a, I have a note. From yeah. the father. Are these lollipops free? <laughs> I am going to take more than one. You're wasting all our times. I'm going to take a walk around the school. See if there's any one of her friends wants to hang out. What, what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Not hanging out with the 17-year-old. <laughs> Come on, dude. Just tell me. Are you going to... Did you agree to like you were saying like you were gonna like chaperone one of the Shut up, you fucking <laughs> like it was like you were like one of like the, I guess like you were like the adult chaperones for like they were going to the Museum of Natural History for oh, yeah. school right Yeah that'd be fun I could show I could cut butt in during the tour guide yeah. and be like actually the T Rex has feathers now yeah. you guys know that They're the fucking teachers like all right everyone make sure to hold hands with your partner so you don't get lost 
and like she holds like hands this, with somebody, I don't like that and you're like a predator. Yeah, like in this situation. Hey, who's this fucking clown? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, it's my lady over here. It's my 17 year old girlfriend over here. It's legal. I shout to the other people yeah. in the planetarium. I go, it's legal. Yeah. She has the mind of a 17-year-old in the I body. Babe, I wish just go to Mars where these laws don't even matter. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> well, because the uh, Mars has, like, a, a shorter lunar cycle, technically oh, yeah, you would be uh, 18. Yeah. She would age faster. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, me and my 17-year-old girlfriend going to Mars. I hate you. <laughs> That's the best revenge. At least for I your... play along with it. Yeah, not, dude. Yeah, at I'm least you don't violently it. attack me yeah. for being too real. Or <laughs> after the pot, I'm gonna be like, "This is bullshit. You need to cut that out. Cut it out. <laughs> I'm not. We're not even cut. gonna cut out Alexis. Honestly, <laughs> we're not gonna cut it out. We're not gonna cut it out because then I'm gonna run into her and she's like, meh, 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 and I'm gonna be like, "Shut up. We love friends. her, dude. We're, we're gonna get back together. We are buds. Yeah. So it's not even." We're not gonna shut up. We're not, we're not gonna get back to Hey, you. dude. Maybe maybe we should we're be. Friends. Maybe we could be. Good I'm actually too. on. Shout out. We're on. Um, I'm on their show. Her and David Backer show. Um, Ooh. And two. When this will be out, it's probably that Saturday. So uh, come uh, to me. Awesome. Yeah. In come Queens. check it out. Only In friends. Queens. It's at uh, Toodles and Friends. It's a good show. I'm probably doing a drop in guest set because uh, we're pretty good friends too. Yeah. <laughs> but if she if she does message us and say I want you to call my name out, it's gonna be a real bummer. And be it's like, funny. no, shut up. Yeah, you give me a little kiss too, huh? We're we're fucking co we're <laughs> we're co hosts, so we got to share everything. We also do a no jumper part of the podcast. Yeah. Hey, you want to be on our no jumper pod? We still have to do that to the people who come on. We had to try that with Zach. Yeah, he'll be down for that. Yeah. He's he's cool, dude. Yeah, he'll be so he'll be so surprisingly down. Yeah. He's, he's coming yeah. up, by the way, guys. He's going to be. We have, we have guests coming up. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld agreed to do this pod. Yeah. What's the deal? <laughs> yes, yeah, Ellie, you can date a 17 year old. It's mm. not a big deal. Everyone's talking about the 17 year old. Yeah. 17 year old, it's a kid. Who I cares? did a shitty Pop Tart movie. They're more than mad about that. <laughs> they got so mad. They were like, oh, Andy fucked a 17 year old. Yeah, exactly. It, it resurfaced again. Yeah. And everyone again just went. Well, it's technically it's legal, and she's got some tits. Yeah, and everyone see <laughs> everyone took uh, everyone took one look at that little fucking oh, child's Sydney body. Oh, Sydney Sweeney looked sev- that at seventeen, and Jerry yeah. Seinfeld saw her. Yeah, yeah, dude. Honestly, like if the kids look like the kids it's, in Euphoria, it's literally like if Jerry Seinfeld saw um, Cassie in Euphoria we, and was we, like, "Yeah, oh, we changed the laws immediately, dude." In a fucking heartbeat. See, if children actually look like we that. Need him on, dude. Talk fucking about eighteen. It. Like they scientifically eighteen is like. If you're going to be fuckable, it's going to be by 18. And that's the reason 18 is the law. And in certain states, like you, you find out sooner. Like in Alabama, you find out at 16. You either find out if you're going to get fucked at 16. And it's like you're either going to get fucked at 16 or you're never going to get fucked. That's what it is. The age of consent. Yeah, dude. We're, we're keeping it. Really, really makes you think. Yeah. I guess, dude. It doesn't make me think. I guess it makes you think. You got to think, dude. I think, therefore, I am. Damn, dude, I guess in a way I'm a philosopher. Comedians really are the modern-day philosophers. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude, it's an art, dude. What, saying funny thing into myself. a microphone? Oh, God, I My craft. die sometimes. Oh, damn. Well, what's going on tonight? Where are we at on time? Um, We're doing good, dude. I'm I almost done like with three Fallout hours, 3. Dude. Oh, we're crushing, dude. We're, we're almost done. Three hours. Got like 10 minutes left. Toss. Perfect, dude. Um, 48 hours into Fallout 3, so that's hot. Ladies... If you want a guy who's played two days worth of a game that you can beat in six hours, probably the, yeah. the main quest, you can beat it in six hours. But I'm going to every location in the game. What's the last location you went to, dude? I just oh fuck 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 um the National Archives. I got the Declaration of Independence. Nice. I got it for the guy. I gave it to him, and I also killed everyone in um the ca- the Cannibal Town. The cannibal like yeah, little Ari- neighborhood, Ari- like Ariatu or yeah, whatever. Yeah, Ondale, Ondale yeah, or some yeah, yeah. Ardale or one of those. Dude went there, knew immediately they were cannibals, but I discovered it, discovered their shed, came out, they surrounded me, and I had a, uh, the chick with me from the Brotherhood, the black chick. Oh, who yeah. You can be your su- guide, your buddy, and we just fucking killed them all, dude. It was ruled. <laughs> I loved it, dude. I love that game. What do you I'm have, so what, into What do you have left to do? What quest the main quest and then the Brotherhood of Steel What's one. the main quest? What do you have left for that? Uh, I have to go literally meet up with them to go to fight the Enclave. Yeah. 
but I'm going everywhere first. So you're on Broken Steel. I'm about to be. I haven't gone there yet. I'm about to. Broken Steel's still loaded, so I'm, dude. It's gonna be a while. I still have to get to New Vegas too. I'm having a problem. Damn, dude. You're but just I'm, afraid. You're just afraid to move but, on. Oh, this will be fun to talk about. Remember how on the last episode I had to go get the key to my dog thing? Oh yeah. Got fired from dog walking. Oh no, because, because of that. that? Not because of that. Well, yeah, because that was a part of it. But it was that and um, just other minor mistakes like that. Not fired from. Actually, not fired. Just not dog walking right now. You're like now. not on call for that. I'm on. Yeah, I'm on call, and I'm also now. Uh, but I'm good to babysit dogs, which is odd. Uh, is still like I'm like I don't even understand this company. Anyway, but um. It's funny because I have been fired before from another uh, dog thing. I used to work in a kennel. For a similar reason? No, that's what I mean. Like, this was nothing. This was like you put the leash on the wrong direction one time. It's like, it it doesn't, (laughs) it's my bad. You did that with Finny. Yeah, Yeah. I did it with Finn, and he was all right. But I fixed it. I called and I fixed it. That's the point. I fixed it each time. (laughs) Um, And that was it. That's the only reasons. That's so funny gay and upscale anyway yeah um my old job i got fired because they were like there's been reports of you like assaulting the animals and i was like that did not happen it just didn't it's not happened two different things they listed and i was like this is not assault this is saving one time these two great danes got out of their cages and they were running around our kennel and they couldn't be stopped like we were trying to stop them by like natural ways like just like just getting in their way yeah. and stopping them. They kept barreling through this girl we were working with, me, I mean this other girl. They kept knocking her over. And that and like upset you because you loved her. Dragging her through shit. It was bad. Mm. She was actually getting fucked up by these dogs. It was hilarious. Like, again, hilarious to watch, yeah. but it had to be stopped because she was getting all, like, dirty and shit. So they, they had leashes on their necks. They were just running around this. Co- it was like a kennel where they're all old yeah. dogs. And they're running around the little things. So that when they ran around the final time, I was like, enough's enough. And I just stepped on both of their leashes. And they were running at full speed. So they just went, clink. And, and it broke their neck. No, they were fine. Yeah, right. They were really <laughs> they fucking. They were completely fine. Probably fucking bruised their esophagus. They were fine. No. Okay. No one got hurt. We brought the dogs from that moment <laughs> back to their fucking cages. And that was that. And apparently she reported me. And I even said in Good my, for her. when they were, because the boss, yeah. when this was happening, when she was recanting all this to me, yeah. I was like, I saved her. And she's like, yeah, well, and I was like, this is bullshit. I was actually mad about this. You were one. like, maybe, maybe I'll show you how it is to get actually choked, you little bitch. <laughs> the other one, slightly indefensible, but it's just a human reaction. A d- but I can't defend it. It's just the way I understand why this one makes sense. I was putting away this princess dog in her cage, mm-hmm. and I went to take her leash off. And when I pulled the leash over her head, she bit my finger, and I was like, and it, it like hard. And I went to be like, stop! And I pulled it. And when I pulled it out, she bit harder, so it ripped my finger open. I mean, like bad. It was blood. It was like, it was disgusting. Anyway, shut the gate. And I yelled, motherfucker, and then I kicked the cage. <laughs> so, But it was, like, it's not like the cage moved. It was attached to the wall. So right. I just kicked the door, and the dog didn't care. It literally, like, looked at me with, like, bloody teeth and just, like, bared its teeth at me. And I was like, you cocksucker. And I walked away. And I had to get, like, a whole, I had to, like, wrap my, it was bad. Anyway, what are you going to do? <laughs> I was, like, 18. Anyway. All right, so you choked out two dogs <laughs> and you tried to kill like a smaller one. I, so big I, you deal. know, I, if it was my dog, dude, I would have kicked the shit out of it. I wouldn't have like killed it, but I would have kicked it in the yeah. face. <laughs> Bite me like that, motherfucker. You're a dog. Yeah. Sorry, like I love dogs. I love pet pets. But if any of them ever like act up, they're pets, dude. Yeah. They're dog. Like I don't, I don't play that shit. <laughs> I'm not like no, no, no. It's like yo, I'm fucking. You're a dog. Anyway, sorry. I'm not getting rehired by this company. Probably not, dude. Although it is a funny reason to get fired. It's like you forgot the key. Yeah. But it's it it makes sense. Yeah. But it's also like you know It's like, come on, bitch. Yeah. Let Mark, me let me just goof around a little bit. I know, I was potting. I was excited to go pod with yeah. my friend and smoke weed. Yeah, it's like I'm sorry, things are some things are more important, like doing a podcast and doing drugs. Getting Slices of overpriced pizza. Yeah, but it's really good. Poor little Finn, dude. Look, he's been he's been exhausted like for uh, the past wiped. week. 
He's getting old, dude. The heat. You guys are gonna have to much. replace him soon. I know. I've been telling Kelly, it's like I want she a Boston that. Terrier. I want she a little Boston it. Terrier. Oh man, dude. I want. I I don't know how you guys do a dog in the city, dude. I even the shit I was doing, I was like, I'd never want. A he's dog in the like city. little, so he's easier to like. Like it ever gets down, if it ever gets crazy, like I can just like pick him up and carry him, and he's all right with that, you know. Mm. Yeah, Finn's a good dog. Yeah. I like taking him to the park when I stayed here. Yeah, no, dude, he's like, we went to uh, Boris and Horton on uh, Monday again. It's an open mic with dogs. Yeah. And, uh, dude, he is, like, such a chick magnet. Like, dude, it was so funny. Like, there was, like, this one chick with just, like, super tight jeans and, like, a little, like, fucking crop top that was, like, sitting by herself. And, like, Finn was off leash, and he was, like, running around with some other dogs. Then, like, he ran up to her. And just started, like, rubbing up against her and, like, doing that thing where he was, like, sitting in her lap and, like, wagging his tail. And she was, like, I laughing want, and taking photos and everything. And I he want was to just turn there. into Finn in my next life. Yeah. Just get touched and, by and then he chicks. And then he, like, ran over to this other guy and, like, sat in his lap. And it was just, like, he's, like, just such, like, a funny little, like, yeah. social guy. My dog Mitch was like that. He was so cute. And anyone who saw him was like, oh, my God. It was, like, yeah. chicks yeah, dude. people like always will stop and like ask like what kind of breed Finn is and stuff. Pomeranian I had like a little pug. kid come up and be like, "I like your dog," which is like the best compliment you can ever get. Is like a little kid saying they like your dog. Like, can I pet your dog? I'm like, "Yeah, this is Finny. Hi, Finny. You know, kids are great. Yeah, like yeah, that's what you need is like the kids. Except approval. when they're yours, apparently. Yeah, yeah that's gotta suck to have kids, though. Dude, if you're listening to this and you have kids, comment wh- wh- what you think it's like if we should have kids. No, just the based off these conversations. The answer is no, dude. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want kids. It's like wild to. It's like it's so funny to. I think of all the stuff that I have and like all the stuff I wouldn't be able to have if I had kids. Yeah, you know. Well, dude, what's crazy to me is I have friends who are sort of like me. We're all different, obviously, but I'm. We're all like the same mindset of like just silly, fun. Just going about life, guys, yeah. is what I'm saying. Nothing weird or anything. I'm just saying it's weird to me. Like, I, I've i never been sleeping with a woman and been like, just so you know, if things go sideways, I'm completely prepared to have a kid. Like, some dudes out there are just like that, where they're like, well, I guess we're having a kid. Or, like, I'm fully prepared to have a kid with you. Like, it's like, n- what? Like, where they are in life. Yeah. Like, where I, w- the sa- if not... Where I am, if not lower or slightly ahead, where it's like, you, you need a lot more planning than this. I feel yeah. like I don't know. I feel like I have to own property to have a kid. I don't know what it is. People, I don't know. People are crazy. That's what I'm saying. One, my point is, I feel like there's people out there who have thought about it less than I have, right? And they still figure it out. And I'm like, I don't understand. Well, how I this feel shit like works. a lot of it's like you're indoctrinated into thinking, like, well, I gotta be of a certain age. So it's true, dude. You know, I got to have a kid, and it's like, fuck that. I'll give both my parents credit for that, dude. Neither of them were like, you need to do this. Or society, yeah. they didn't implement that shit. They were both kind of like, dude, just have fun and figure it out. And yeah, that's do your what thing, I'm doing. Dude. And they didn't pr- impose marriage or kids on me. Like, I think both my parents would be happy if I had kids and got married, but they wouldn't care if I didn't either. I think my mom just is starting to realize, like, she's never going to have grandkids. Oh, no. And it's like, sorry, fucking lady. Tough shit. Yeah, you should have done a better job raising us. Yeah, maybe if you didn't raise, like, such delinquents. Well, my parents, uh, it's not even their fault. It's just a lot of, like, having kids when I was, like, I knew what it was like to have numerous kids compared to me. I'm, like, an only child, and I lived up the street from my cousins, and there's six of them, all in one house. And I would hang out with them all the time. Very different types of living. Yeah. Like, very different. Like, they, if they had snacks and I would eat snacks with them, they would almost be like, like, it would be like, like, rude to eat their snacks. You mm. know what I mean? Because there's six of them. Yeah. It's like, if I'm eating their snacks and then going home and there's more, it's like, they have to fight over a bag of chips. And I'd go there and eat their chips and be like, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like, what am I doing with my life? Anyway. The kid-to-chip ratio is yeah. just, like, more proportional at your house. The way it worked, though, if anything was going, not going bad, like, if it was like, oh, this is going to expire, yeah. or this is, like, fruit is, we have all these grapes, but he, my son, 
Alex isn't eating them fast enough, we would just call my cousins, invite them over for the night, yeah. and be like, do you guys want any of this? Dude, it would be like, you know in that, the movies when they put shit out and like the prisoners all grab the food, they're like, yeah, oh, yeah. and just gone. Or like those them. Jewish kids. Like the yeah. Jewish kids. Though, for real, you've seen yeah. videos of that. Yeah, yeah. And we're not even being anti-Semitic. No, it's, we're just They put out the free realist. bread and it's like, yeah, it's gone. They fight each they're literally like, it's insane. It's they, scary. They, they like attack the waiters before they put them down. Yeah. The waiter's like, okay, okay. It's pretty funny. They're funny videos. They're wild people, dude. You said it. It's a wild culture. <laughs> a wild, unpredictable, and I'm going to say it, dangerous culture. Well, uh, that's. I think that's the end of the <laughs> Yeah, dude. Time. Anything <laughs> you want to... You, well, you did your little plugs and promotions. A little bit, yeah. I'll be... Uh, check out my Instagram. I'm actually going to be posting dates... They'll already be posted by the time you see this. Yeah. And please come see me at one of these guys if you're around, especially if you're in the city. I, I'd really appreciate it. Um, come see Alex and his ex at their show. It's not my ex. Uh, it's not my ex. Uh, appreciate <laughs> you guys coming to hang out with me. We'll smoke some weed. And there you buy go. me buy me pizza or something. It'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, check out my other podcast, Yes Offense. And uh, subscribe, guys. Tell people about this. Comment. Yeah. Uh, you can be mean to me. I won't read it. Yeah, uh, and if, hey, if you're going to be in the New York area in September of 2024, come to me and Kelly Taylor's wedding. It's going to be amazing, dude. Everyone's invited, dude. Bye. Stupid.